Hey everyone, this is EPRC Chair. Welcome to another episode of Ebanical. So in this episode, we'll be heading back to the, the Poppins village to get our ship since the at the end of the last episode we got a letter recommendation. Yeah, from uh from Arimo, yeah. So with the letter of recommendation we can get them to make us a ship as Rich said. Yeah, so let's throw that letter in the Poppins' faces. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go. <laughs> okay, to the Poppins village we go. Hmm? What? No entry for a Poppins letter of recommendation. Hey, okay, here you go. Then there's no problem. Here. Uh, what's this? It certainly does seem to be a Poppins recommendation. But how in the world did you get it? Do you know any more? Daddy, you now it's from a puppy. There's a teen automaton inside the letter. Oh, one that runs on springs and stuff, of course. What? Why oh, is popping technology so incredible? Well, it is. Now, we kept our end of the promise. Will you make us a ship? Oh, I did say to bring a recommendation, but I never said we'll make you a ship if you did. Okay, you deserve a beating right here. <laughs> Do we still have to put up with this? Don't get me wrong, I'll still keep my promise by allowing you inside our workshops. If you want a ship, build it yourself. You're asking us to build a ship ourselves? Of course, if you want, you're free to try and convince a Poppin to make one for you. Hmm. Oh, alright. Thing is, not a Poppin in this town will work with a human. Am I right, boys? Bro, Fuji said not to the party but to the Poppins around him. Y yeah, right. Wasn't looking forward to finally building a ship again at all. Yeah, right. T -t totally. I wanted to put my skills to use, but I guess I'm not that into it, maybe? Yeah, right. <laughs> You totally are tempted to want to build a ship. <laughs> you see all these two puppies, they are so tempted to want to build a ship. Don't make them agree with you. That's not nice. So if you absolutely insist, get us around 60 billion gold. I'm not gonna smack you, Morokuji, seriously. <laughs> it's twice what you said last time, you ass! <laughs> Suffer you despicable humans! Face the same disgrace as once did! But you but not all humans are like that. It's just the people of Humpty, just or to be exact, the kingdom of the the, the, the people in the palace of Humpty, notably Yeah, notably uh, Queen Queen Bell, that that's what caused you to be in this disgrace. Not not all humans. Ha! I knew you'd be doing this. Who's this? Ah? Huh? Is that Erimo? Oh there she is. <laughs> when Esther dropped your name, I had an inkling as to what was going on. Erimo! Dad, come here, you filthy mongrel! Oh, she's still a half poppin. I overheard everything. I think them used the workshops, aren't you? Yes. Promise is a promise. Yeah, right. You promised us to build a ship, you shit. Wait, then leave it to me. Don't make your ship. Nice. Then does that mean Arimo is going to join us? <laughs> I hope. I I'm pretty sure she's going to be one of Esther's next wife rules. For sure, 100%. Yeah, I just don't know when she'll join. Huh? You sure? Hey, I don't want these guys to be putting the poppins to shame by turning down the job. Uh, not like we wanted to. Come on now. Quiet, both of you! Yeep! Fine, I won't stop you. See if that poor smart of a daughter can make a functional ship anyway. You sure about that? Listen, don't any of you dare give them a hand! S sure thing. Threatened by Murakuji, the Poppins looked back with regret as they returned to their homes. Yeah, they totally wanted to help us, but wanted to build a ship, but oh well. Uh, thanks, Arimo. Came here just to help us? Well, I was so, so curious. Couldn't enjoy my goose if I didn't check this out. <laughs> uh, oh, you, so you have to check this out to enjoy your goose? You're gonna drink, go drinking again later? So can you really build a ship? I think I can handle. How big of a ship? Well, it's big enough for all of us to fit, you know? Maybe like a yacht, you know? I think if I, I think if it accommodates 10 people, that's plenty. For 10 people. But you also preferably be sturdy enough to survive fights with sea monsters. Yeah. I figure that if we finally get a ship right, and then we sail through the sea, there will be random encounters, right? Yeah, we have to fight sea monsters. 
you might consider mentorship, but you probably want wood for the speed. If, 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 I've actually got a good idea for what to do with it. Really? Another one of your genius plans, Catherine? You suggest making fire, I'll kill you and then myself. Please don't do that. <laughs> oh, scary, Kawhi. Bitch, you really don't like heights, huh? You ultimately want a flying ship, but not yet. Yeah, soon. Uh, an airship, soon, soon. Airship will be most effective, yeah. First, let me show you my OP engine. Wait, you're gonna use your OP engine to power up the ship? OP. Ah, train monster? And this is an engine? Yeah, a monster that's an engine. You see, this is a revolutionary invention. Oh no, don't let Kev, uh, you know, talk, talk about his, her inventions. You, you know, it's going to take you an hour <laughs> to listen the whole story. Listen to the whole story. Kev droned needlessly on about the wonders of the UP engine and its incredible potential. Another hour wasted. <laughs> okay. But I think, I think Erimo doesn't mind. I think she doesn't mind listening to all the talk about the PNG and all since, since she's into machinery and all, and all that. I can work with this. Ah, uh, okay. Huh? Seriously? You have taught anyone to understand Cassie mentions? Well, she certainly can. I mean, Poppins, the other Poppins certainly can since they're into mechanic, mechanical stuff, no machinery. Just Oh, oh, is she done? <laughs> you sketch you the whole thing, I'm having a sleep while standing. <laughs> With that engine, I could make the fastest ship ever produced. Oh, really? <laughs> you sure? At least some people understand. Problem is the material. The Ubi's flames would set a wooden ship on fire. So we have to make a metal ship. But that that's going to take a lot of time, right? Ash, do you consider that? Except if it were carbon wood, that can withstand high temperatures. Oh, carbon wood. Where are we going to get carbon wood though? What's carbon wood? Well, wood that's made of carbon? I don't know. It's supposed to be a type of wood you can find in the Kala Forest. But you need a special skill to cut down the trees. Oh, so we have to go back to the Kala Forest? Alright. But we need a special skill. Don't tell me we can only get a special skill from, uh, from Camelot? I don't think so though, maybe somewhere else. The Kala Forest! No problem with the connections there! Can we just get a normal ship? Uh, no, we get a fast ship, then save us a lot of time. No way! When will we be able to get another one? This is no time to cheap out! Okay, let's go get some carbon wood. Are you sure? Stay Crest has the Queen's ear. There isn't much time to waste. No, it will be worth it, trust me. If worse comes to worse, we have to flee from Humpty as fast as possible. And her getting a faster ship, yeah. Yeah? I mean, yeah, that's totally what, uh, what I was thinking too. Hey, let me get that carbon wood, thanks. I'll stay here and make the blueprint. Oh, or rather, get me. Then get me that carbon wood, thanks. I'll stay here and make the blueprint. Alright, so okay, we're going to the Kala Forest. Hehehehe. <laughs> Haven't made something like this in a while forward to seeing a masterpiece. Now let's go to the color forest and get ourselves some carbon wood. Alright. Well, haven't you excited? <laughs> so color forest means, do we have to go to the color village to get the carbon wood? Probably. Yeah, first thing we need to talk to the queen, right? Yeah, it's been a while since we last went there. Thus, the party headed to the color forest in search of the materials. Alright. Okay, so pop use the Poppins recommendation letter. Okay, so that means we can... Yeah, we can teleport straight to... Back to Kelp Resort. So we're going back. We're going to Big Bucks. And we'll be heading to the... Yep, the... Yep, we'll be heading to the Kala Forest. So that means to the Kala Village. Means... Right here. Okay. So... Alright, to the Kala Village we go. Yes, Lorenzo, where are you? Or are you like not here because you're flirting with <laughs> officially dating uh, Pancho? 
you like flirting with Lorenzo having saxophone with? Are you like flirting with? Uh, Pancho, you're, you're having saxophone with Pancho now? <laughs> Some things and stuff. Yeah, Lorenzo, why didn't you understand Catherine's heart? Now, now you're falling in love with Pancho, so you care only about Pancho now. Is it? Is that it? <laughs> okay. So what goes down here? Okay. Yep. We need carbon wood for. For some mission, you have to build a ship. No, 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 Yes, friends. Logging skill. Hmm, where are we going to get the logging skill? I don't think none of, I don't think any of my, any of the characters has, yeah, has logging skill. I don't think she can just teach us. <laughs> Asked something in return, what? Something to do with Pancho? <laughs> like what? Is that a problem that came up? I, I know. That problem has something to do with Pancho. I know. You want to learn how to. I have saxophone with Pancho. Is that it? Come on. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so it's serious stuff. Come on now. What about Pancho? <laughs> okay, closer relations with El Quizot. But maybe it's like you got some problems along the way. うん、ナイス。オッケー。ナイス。でも、その偏見がなくなったせいで、別の問題が出てきてしまったのです。うん、え、セパレートイシュー。うん。オッケー。その問題は直接聞いてもらった方がいいかもしれません。周りにいる女
な短期間によくあそこまで変われるわね。Yeah, the, 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 that's definitely a change in the color's behavior. Now they are not as motivated to a saxophone with the humans. Yeah, they, they want to be more picky, want to be pickier. Like, really, like, they've, they've evolved you know, into, uh, like, uh, what, high maintenance women? <laughs> yeah, high maintenance women. Yeah, so, okay. Oh. Well, that's ha- that has always been the case, right? So, what exactly is the problem with that? ああ、いや。成功時代を大人にする若い子が増えつつあるんです。いや、ですいや、あ、あ、かなりはフェアインクリングでですイズザプロブレムインクリーシングヤングウィメンヤングカラースファーダ。どういうのチャイトピースザマ
エロ漫画で仕入れた知識だなんて。Well, you don't have to tell her that. Just do it. どうせエロ漫画で仕入れた知識だなんて。Rich just said it out loud. ちげえし、本当に知ってるっつーの。<笑>じゃあ見せてやれば済む話だな。Yes, show, you, show us and prove it. Prove it. Okay, we're gonna get a hitch in here. Yes, she's gonna get all the. She's gonna use her experience from Pond Manga. Yeah, to, <laughs> to do it as, with Esther, yes. Carbon no kino t a m e n i m o k a m a t e Yes, do it for the carbon wood. Onegai kiss. Kono kara no sato no do to ko mamoru t a m e n i Chikara o kaste h o s i n o Yes, the kara village first shoe depends on it. You need to educate all the, all the kara's here, okay? Show. Show them how it's done. Okay, let's do it. In front of Lorenzo and maybe the rest of the Kalas too, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we get to see Kev do it, for the,、uh, do it with Esther for the second time. Nice. Thank you, Kev. That's what I want to do. Precisely, Lorenzo. That's what friends are for. <laughs> Bring it on! Cap drags Esther by the hand to the Kala Village public baths. Alright. Here we go. Da 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 da! Nice. Ah.、Huh. Well. <laughs> oh. This is a start, but is this seriously a bath? I mean, this is a public bath, right? It's a communal bath, to be exact. So it's not really the. Like, you're not. We're, I, I actually was expecting a bathtub, but then again, no. But then again, it's a bu public bath or communal bath, so it's not exactly a bathtub, more of like the big pool. But now they're actually doing it beside the pool, beside the big the public bath, the communal bath. But that, that's cool too. <laughs> but Kev, why are you not totally bare? You, you're still wearing your underwear. <laughs> but okay, I mean, this is cool too, scrubbing and doing it, okay? Oh, is this it? Is this your man satisfying technique? e t r i n had Esther lay down there. The c o l o r b r i d g e bathing area. Yeah, the, the public bath, the communal bath. So she could get on him in a bikini and offer some mysterious service. Oh, it's a bikini? Not underwear? I mean, I remember her wearing this same、uh, underwear when she first did it with Esther. Oh, what's wrong with, with shouting? <laughs> what's wrong with yelling? Catherine sternly silenced Esther. Just look back again. Yeah, public baths, communal baths. Oops, sorry. So, what's this slippery liquid? It's soap. Variety of medicinal effects.、Uh, I can, I can, I can get it. Sure, it's basically like soap you can use for sarsophone, right? <laughs> Not really, but. Yeah, well, I mean, it can be used, but. <laughs> <laughs> it had. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Catherine said loudly to ensure Lorenzo could hear from where she was watching outside. You do? Yes or yeah. Yes! 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 Do you really need to keep laughing at this point? But, but you are. Oh,、uh, okay. <laughs> huh? You say something? <laughs> oh, 
Well, I think it's cute when you're like this anyway. Hey, hey, don't do that. Don't rip the thing off. Please don't. So, now what? Something like this. On top of Esther, Catherine began to move her whole body back and forth. Okay. A small but soft chest provided a slick sensation as it repeatedly slipped across Esther's. It would be even better if you take off the, your top. <laughs> wow, the heck? This feels great! Not only did Esther enjoy the soft girlish skin washing his body, but the sleep, sleepy soap's medicinal effects further enhanced its pleasure. Oh, make it feel better and make it more ex make me more excited to have saxophone with you. Oh, now that you mention it, I can't quite move, right? Ah, this is bad, real bad. Because I'm about to do it with you. I can't touch you. Uh, <laughs> but I want I need to touch you. Oh, why is it not affecting you? What you plan this in advance? <laughs> I guess but this doesn't feel fair, yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, can't deny that. Catherine ignored Esther's tears and continued to awkwardly slide up and down. Ah, it's like not being able to move made my other senses stronger. It feels even better now. You know what? What is it? Well, that, that's the whole point, you know? <laughs> you know? Does it feel good? That's supposed to be the point! Have? You say we're gonna do it! Then why not take it off so that's not an issue? What? What the hell is you'll be arrested for breaking saxophone industry laws? Since when are there even indus saxophone industry laws in this vision novel? What? Was it when that was a law? In the 2D world, but not in the 3D world. Well, I mean, well, this vision novel is still 2D, but hey, you're in the 3D world, okay? Catherine avoided admitting she didn't want to take it off by justifying it with 2D media logic. Oh, but this is cheaty! Hmm. She proactively used her hips to wash Esther's some things specifically. Okay. Ugh, that's good! You feel good too, right? It does, but it's kind of frustrating that I can't touch you! I can't touch you. Yeah, like I could almost, you know, come out, but not quite. Can you do something about that? Well, you have to do something. Because I can't move. <laughs> Obviously. It'd be nice if you could wash off my thing with your thing. <laughs> what? Well, yeah, Sako, Sako. No, that's the whole point. Lorenzo wants to see you make love with Esther right now. <laughs> if you don't do it, then how is Lorenzo going to learn? <laughs> come on, come on, Jeff, use your head. <laughs> nope, you're not going to get out of this. Take it off. Let's do it. Right now, Jeff. Esther's enthusiasm made Catherine hold her head in her hands. No. 
Look at the raging cow that is my thing. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, so you gotta do it. Yes, no turning back now. Go! <laughs> the dead pen, I love the dead pen. Oh, he he Finally! <laughs> of course, it makes him, him happy. You know, well, we can sock him all you want later, but it makes Hester happy. And you'll, you'll, have, you'll be happy too, right? If Hester's happy. Kept her, kept her complaints to herself. As she stripped off the bikini and guided the tip of his. Bridget something into her something. There we go. Oh, okay. It's so just she just moved a bit of her of her bikini bottom. That is right. There we go. <laughs> All right. I think yeah. This is a good place to pause for the time being. Yeah, because we're going down to the main course. Yes, the second time. Catherine is doing it with Esther right here. Yeah, so I will fast forward here and I'll see you in a bit where I'll summarize what happens here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how you please a man, Kev. You did a good job, a wonderful job right there. <laughs> so as you saw in the, that, that CG, yeah, basically they get right down to the main course. So what happened, it was actually quite quite uh, quite fast. Yeah, but just to briefly summarize. So basically what happened was that the the sleepy the sleepy soul yeah, allowed Esther Sting you know, to go all the way into uh yeah into Catherine in one go, in one shot. So really very quick. Yeah, because the the sleepy effects, the lubricating effects. Yeah then after that, then uh, Esther shouted that, Wow, it's so fast! And Kev, like, really kind of angry, so he, she, you know, twisted something. <laughs> Esther something, causing him to be in pain, and yelp in pain, and, and then Kev is like, Please, stop saying any more embarrassing stuff, you know? Any more, yeah, unnecessary embarrassing stuff, you know? Yeah, so... Uh, actually, the term it, it, uh, the, the translator used was incriminating, but I'm not sure why that term is used. Uh, I, I, I think a better term would be embarrassing, so it's like, stop saying any more embarrassing stuff. Yeah, but incriminating, I'm not sure how that term comes into play here, but yeah, anyway. Okay, so after that, then Catherine starts to move up and down. And then Esther told Kev to, don't just move up and down, you know, you can also move left and right, you know. Uh, like like you know jigger shake your body uh, uh, left and right yeah <laughs> so okay yeah after that okay Kev move a bit here and there then after that she starts she started to sit up yeah sit up and then yeah in the cowgirl position basically and then start riding on Esther basically yeah <laughs> and then what what's even better is that Esther's thing actually go be beyond uh Kev's thing and into her other thing, which is the womb. Yes. <laughs> so go further into another organ. That's the womb, and that's thanks to the sleepy soul. Because the thing is that the ointment. Remember the ointment she uh, Kath applied on her skin, uh, so as to nullify the effects of the soap. Yeah. The, the problem is she didn't apply the ointment inside her. So yeah. <laughs> so she became like numb, you know, inside her. Yeah. So after that, then Kev just, you know, Kev and Esther just did it, and then you know the milk comes out and all the juice also. The yeah, yeah, Kev was like, wow, thought it was only possible in the two D world, but it looks like the three D world can hold its own too, you know. Yeah, three D world works too. <laughs> then Kev then asked Esther whether like mind letting me do everything next time. And, uh, then Kev seductively smiled. And started to stroke all over Esther's body, to which Esther, of course, replied gladly, and he smiled and complied with Kev's wishes. Yeah, so, <laughs> so that was pretty much what happened during that scene. So yeah, so let's continue from here, shall we? Yeah. 
You certainly did, and I'm pretty sure if you do the same thing, Pancho will love it <laughs> too. Yeah, then we were able to help. Yeah, yeah, that's the spirit. That's right, Lorenzo. Good luck. I like girls that are into saxophone, but you don't want them to be too passive. Hey, you, do. you have to be aggressive too, you know. <laughs> alright, leave it to you, alright. It's fine. It, it's competition is good. Okay? Yeah. Yes, yeah, the logging skill, right? So I'm gonna get another skill. I hope this one doesn't cost any skill point. It shouldn't, right? Hmm, sure thing. Ready anytime. Once Esther greets Lorenzo, closed her eyes as well and stuck out her pointer finger and began to fo focus. You mean her index finger? Okay. What? Kabo? You're going to produce an explosion or something? She twirled her index finger and prodded it against Esther's forehead. Knowledge of logging floats into his body. Wow. That's some way to teach a skill. Oh, oh we're going to the southern forest, yeah. I believe we haven't actually been to the southern forest. I've right? been to the western Kala forest and the eastern Kala forest, but we haven't actually been to the southern Kala forest. Yeah, which was the last time I tried to go there, it was like blocked by uh, uh, some Kalas. Yeah, so now we get to go to the southern forest, the southern Kala forest. Okay. Okay, thanks. Yes. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's definitely well worth it, okay? <laughs> With Lorenzo's assistance, Esther learned the logging skill. Right. Yeah, it doesn't cost any skill point. Great, that's good. The mustard logging tree chopping technique. Alright, so uh, let me just leave town here. Okay. So just to check the logging skill. Uh, yeah, it's right here. Tree chopping skill, nice. Alright. Okay, so let me just go. Let me just you know enter the southern forest. Right, right now, just enter. Okay. Alright, so this is the Kala Forest South. We're actually exploring this for the first time. And obviously, there's going to be uh, random encounters here, but actually, this is a good place to stop for this episode. So, in the next episode, we'll be exploring. The Southern Kala Forest. I'm not sure if there's going to be a boss here. There might be, yeah, but we're here. We'll we'll be here to you know, collect some wood. Yeah, carbon wood. Yeah, so that we can give it to uh, Erimo to build a ship, and then we can start sailing. Yeah, so that's going to be the plan for the next episode. And I'll see you next time. Till then. <laughs>